So we got a call for a Nissan that is stuck out to Lake Powell. I don't know if they're stuck in mud or sand. We didn't get a really complete story. It's 6.30 a.m. We're in Kanab, Utah. We've been driving for about an hour and a half, and we're going to get some fuel and some food. we got Rudy here. Yes. He is a recovery expert. We have Tucker, who is an expert of other sorts. And then we got Colin, who is our whistling diesel. Stand it. So what what did everybody get for breakfast? Because I got this delicious spicy beef and bean and cheese burrito. I got the liquid version of that. I got a turkey sandwich with a pickle. What did you get, Rudy? Oh, those look pretty good. Where'd you get them from? These? Oh, no, I'm talking about the hat. <laughs> That's offroadrecovery.com. Nah, these glasses? Calling on them to me because as you see, we're driving directly into the sun. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear sunglasses too much, but this is one of the times when they're pretty nice. Hey guys. Hi. How's it huh? going? Good, good. Matt, how are you? Good. I, I called you yesterday. My name's Matt. Okay. I'm the bystander. The guy's out there in Warm Creek Bay still. Do you want me to go back there with you guys and show you where? Well, let's go get him. Okay, perfect. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, thank, thank you, you very much. Good to meet you guys. Well, we are, we just unloaded there the river, the stream, the creek, the wash. What do we call that, Rudy? We call it a river. Right? Oh, that'll get him talking. Yeah. So we have, we unloaded back there at the river, and now we're just headed up here. We're going to stay on this road until we get to Crosby Canyon. Then we're going to hang a right. Is that Starboard? We're going to Lake Powell, so I guess I better brush up. Not much of a lake these days. Yeah. If that's a river, that's a lake. So this call came in through a third party and they sent me GPS coordinates. So I sent a text asking for pictures of the situation and they sent me these pictures. But what I was really looking for was how stuck the vehicle was so that I could make a judgment call. But we're erring on the side of foolishness because we're bringing only one rig with a broken axle because my stub shaft hasn't come yet so we are three wheeling it right now they're saying he's like we're right on top of him that's the pin they gave us let's try the updated pin that speed when I came across and I hit this one spot and it just zoom. Yeah. You got one ring in the front. Right here. Yeah, it's not gonna take much to get out of here. You just want me to leave her in neutral? I'm gonna put Rudy in here. That is a big hole. 
So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna ease into this one. Gentle, okay. a little more, a little more. I'm gonna, little more. Yeah, I'm gonna try when I come out. Come out this way. Yeah. like that well and that was the thing my buddy was supposed to be coming out here he does uh, off-road racing and he just got his truck out of the shop he's like oh yeah I get I get right to the turnoff to come down this road park road and he's like oh dude I can't make it out I'm like <laughs> it felt pretty solid like it really, like broke from the earth yeah it was it was joined pretty good what that first fall did it do anything no it did just it, I, if you stayed on it we would have had it out oh okay I couldn't tell if it was moved or not. What size shirt do you want? <laughs> you got a double? There you go. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was awesome. do your homework so Colin is skipping school today at least the first half of it to come help and the only way he can come here is if he does homework and the only way we let Tucker come with us is if Tucker helps him with his homework so Tucker is a high school homework tutor today Colin's in trouble Big biceps are important to her. So we got him found him, got him pulled out of there. Not too big of a deal, but man, that's a long drive. Sure is. I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> Another, nap. Another nap. <laughs> what do you say, Colin? Mm -hmm. So we got a call for a Honda Element that is stuck in the sand out in Apple Valley. So we're gonna head out there and see if we can get it. It's a hot 95 degrees this morning. We got a little bit of rain last night. So it's a little bit cooler than it normally has been, but it's warming right up this weekend. Trevor's back there. I think Tim and Rudy are behind us. So we'll go get them out. They watered this down and it rained last night. My left, right front lost it, twisted the wheel out of my hand, spun it, oh. and it started sliding. So what do you think? I think it's right out of here. It's not very stable. I couldn't get out the door. Not 100% sure yet. It's feeling like a stormy face. Yep. Okay, Lizzie, jump in there. Okay, go ahead and start it. <laughs> this is my baby. What size of shirt do you wear? Pardon? What size of shirt do you wear? They're hooking Your you shirt. up, dude. What size? Large. Okay. okay. Let's There's see our how it looks channel. here. It's just back or front. Yep. That's the front. That's the front. There you go. Perfect. And it says something on the back. 
I said something about Bob. We'll get, get him, him out. out. dude. <laughs> yeah. That's what they got me out. They get you out too. I don't know. Well, that wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't too bad except for I couldn't find the keys, which is kind of interesting. That's the first time that's ever happened, and we never did find them. He brought a spare. So that works. Luckily, he lived close by, so we only had to wait five minutes for the keys. So, what was that like in there? Was it scary or? No. No, it wasn't scary at all. It was just like steep, so I like could barely hold myself up. So we got a call for a van that has driven off onto a runaway truck ramp off there in the gravel. And from the looks of the pictures, they went a long ways. So we're gonna head up there and see if we can get them out. It's super hot today, like 105. I've never pulled a truck out of a runaway truck ramp before, but we'll see how it goes. We'll get them out. Can of corn, piece of cake. Mm. I'm thinking I'm gonna to wanna to go, if you back up a little bit to just give me a little bit of cover, I'm gonna go right out there. You may want to turn the wrong way and go we'll crab walk it out. Okay. It just kind of depends on how it steers. because the rocks are in the brakes. Um, you might you might want to take it to like a tire shop and have them pull the tires off and look and clean all the rocks out oh, of the really? brakes. Maybe, if, it might be okay in a minute. Oh, okay. Oh, you guys. Um, the, a good Samaritan call pays for the job. And, really? Um, that's Doug awesome. from Page pays Doug, for the call. Doug from Page. So this is a runaway truck ramp, if you didn't catch that. And we get calls out here quite a bit. Uh, usually just the tow company. Normally, someone might make it to right about here. Uh, this second marker here. She somehow made it down past the fourth marker. Twice as far as I've seen anybody. And this is a ramp meant to slow down big trucks. So how she made it this far, who knows? So this particular runaway truck ramp gets mistaken for a road quite a bit. It's definitely not the first person we pulled out of there. I guess the officer said she hit that at the speed limit, which I think through there is like 40 miles an hour. So, wow. Anyway, um, thanks to Douglas from Page Steel for calling in and he was passing by and uh, call us to go do that job. Came out nice and easy. Thanks for watching.